So it seems like we're gonna have a little bit of an issue getting this axle out. It seems to be kind of stuck in there. It's not moving. So I need to figure out how I'm gonna get this loose from the hub. Okay, so I put a punch in this little divot right here and I've hit it with the hammer trying to break it loose from the hub. Brawn is failing me, so now I'm gonna use physics and use this tool that I rented from O'Reilly's. I'm gonna use this long threaded bolt and I'm gonna hold it still with this nut on this other side. So this is gonna hold the bolt in place while I tighten it and this holds onto the hub. So basically the only thing that's gonna be moving is this axle shaft that way. So the head on this bolt is a 24 millimeter. Pretty sure this is not the intended use for this, but I'm desperate. All right, some more. Let's introduce a little more blunt force trauma. All right, so I've given up using that other tool. I couldn't really push directly straight ahead. It kept wanting to move and I'm pushing it off to the side. It's just, anyway, I was trying to jerry-rig it to make it make it work, but it really just, it wasn't working. So I got hold of a, a sledge hammer and hit on the end of this thing a couple times uh, to see if I can't, you know, break it loose. I only hit on it a couple times because I really don't want to damage the end of this CV axle in such a way that I couldn't get the axle nut back on. So anyway, I went after a different tool and I've got a hub puller and this drive screw. So this tool is going to allow me to apply the force directly against the uh, axle shaft and not off to the side like the other tool was doing. So I just need to get three lug nuts to hold this tool on. Now that everything's tightened up, I'm going to go ahead and oil that down pretty good. And hopefully this will do the trick. This drive bolt is a 19 millimeter. So my next idea is to pop out the CV axle and remove the entire spindle and shaft together. I did that because one, I want to get out of the cold, and two, I want to set this thing upright and soak it with this PV blaster penetrating catalyst, and hopefully this stuff can break loose of that rust and grime that is causing this to stay stuck in the hub. So that's the plan. All right, so I'm gonna prop this upright, and I'm gonna use this trash can. I've got this old shelving set across the top. That way this thing can sit sort of upright. And I'm gonna spray down the shaft of this CV axle and just let that penetrant do its work. So I'm gonna let this sit overnight and most of the day tomorrow. I probably won't be able to get to this until after I get off of work. So this will probably sit for a good, oh, I don't know, 20 hours maybe. All right, so this hub has had about 19 hours to think about it. So we're gonna go ahead and try to attempt to get this thing out of here. So here goes nothing. Well, I've hit it on a few times with the sledge and I accidentally hit the one of the lugs and pop the lug out. I'm gonna go to heat. I've already been heating this for just a little bit already. This is just propane, so I don't know how hot this is gonna get. Probably gonna need to be much hotter, but we'll give this a shot. All right, so I've been heating on this thing for about 10 minutes. I'm gonna go ahead and see if this heat did anything. I've sprayed some more PB blaster down in there. We'll see if this did anything.
That'll heat up a little hotter than that propane. <laughs> They're not that expensive. If we have to get a new one, we'll get a new one. Yeah. Yeah. It can't stick if it's liquid. So we just spend the next several minutes just heating up the CV axle and striking it with this hammer. Again, trying to just fracture the, the rust or whatever it is that's causing it to, to be fused in there. You can see us, we're just trying to heat up pretty much from all angles to get this thing to break loose, and we just couldn't get it to come loose using this method. After a while, we decided we need to put a little bit of pressure on the CV axle, so it's time to break out old trusty. I don't think that thing has moved a millimeter. It hasn't. No, it hasn't moved. So this is our last ditch effort to get the CV axle out. We were using a 80-year-old jaw puller tool that was given to my father-in-law by his father-in-law. So this tool pretty much uses the same principles as the other tools I had tried, but it's a much beefier tool. The two jaw hooks hook onto the hub, and this driving screw pushes down on the CV axle. Okay, Dan. Hit that sucker, will you? With pleasure. We found an old socket to put over the top of the CV axle shaft which allowed us to keep the pressure bolt centered on the CV axle. Ouch. I didn't need those toes anyway. <laughs> so here we spend several minutes turning the bolt, pressure screw, and striking it with the hammer, and just repeating this process over and over until we can see that we've made some kind of progress. Are we driving that down in the socket? Is that what we're doing? I think my bolt is going down on the inside of the socket. Well, we're putting some pretty good pressure on it. You know, we've moved it down. I think we've moved it a millimeter or two, but it's definitely moved. Yeah, this would work so much easier if we had a big hydraulic press. Yeah, you just press it. Just pop it right out. Yeah, it would. This is all we got to work with. This so. is all we've got. Fifteen minutes later. Hmm. Are you able to get a cheater bar on the end of that wrench? I can. I've got a thing in there to do it. just popped hopefully that was the axle and not something else 
<laughs> if it was you, you would have screamed, so we know it wasn't your shoulder. No, I can see down in there. Yep, it's definitely popping down. Now you can see where the wheel speed sensor ribs on the axle. Can you? We can see them now. <laughs> so it's it's dropping. Well. Hallelujah. We just keep yeah, on keep going. going. Keep going. We're on a roll. <laughs> Though the puller is still pretty much upright, so we're yeah. got good leverage on it now. There it is. Yes. <laughs> Am I bottomed out? <laughs> nope, you got a ways to go. Do I? Yeah. Yeah, it's popping and popping and popping. We've got some Rice Krispies going on right now. Snap, crack, pop. Oh, yeah. Check that out. Yep. Oh, gosh, it's moving every time I hear it now. Yep. You can see it. It's coming down. See that we mushroomed the head of it because we've been beating on this thing like crazy. It'll never go down through the bore of the uh, or the splines of the hub. So we're gonna have to figure out a way to either grind or chisel away at the head of this so that we can get that to go all the way down. Well, naturally, we thought that the quickest and funnest way would be to cut it with the torch. Go ahead and hit it, Dan. See if you can. Okay. Yes. Oh, hallelujah. See the mark there, the spline? That dude is roughed up right there. Uh -huh. These The splines had swedged because they've been so hot. Because that, of the bad yeah, bearing. That bearing. Yeah. That thing had really been hot. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there wasn't any way my little little hub press little thing that I was that using. That thing you got from autos on wasn't gonna do it. Alright, well. I'm glad it's, it's out of there. <laughs> it's out of there. I bought a brand new hub and a brand new C V axle, in case you were wondering. like a boss. <laughs>